how could God finally bless me with a baby after 10 years mm -hmm. and now I'm not going to get to meet her? Maria Menounos is opening up about her battle with cancer. After struggling to conceive for a decade, in February, the former E! host and husband Kevin Undergaro announced they're expecting a baby girl via surrogate. But as Maria previously shared with People, that same month she was privately battling stage 2 pancreatic cancer. In an emotional interview with today's Hoda Kotb, the 44-year-old details getting the results of a full-body MRI from a radiologist after she had been experiencing, quote, excruciating pain. And he's like, oh, and the mass kept persisting in every image. He goes, you need to go to the hospital right away. And he's like, white as a ghost, and he's shaking. And I'm like, my eyes started to well, and I just looked at him, I go, so I'm a goner cool like I just kind of go to jokes fast but it was not a like good joke yeah. and all that kept flashing through my head was my baby and I was like oh my god I can't believe this is gonna happen to me because when it's on your pancreas you know like you're you're not gonna be okay Maria then went to her primary care doctor who immediately ordered a biopsy she got the devastating news from the person who performed the procedure when I came out he goes oh this is definitely something and so I remember waking up the next morning and I, I hadn't really cried, but I just started like guttural crying because I'm like, how could God finally bless me with a baby after 10 years mm -hmm. and now I'm not going to get to meet her? And then the more I thought about it, I was like, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. And then I realized it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And that's when I shifted and said, I don't know anything. So why am I going to predict the worst? Why am I going to be thinking the worst? Fortunately, doctors successfully removed a 3.9 inch tumor along with part of her pancreas, her entire spleen, a large fibroid on her uterus, and 17 lymph nodes. Today, Maria is cancer free. I feel so <laughs> blessed and so grateful because I've been given so many miracles. Like, I'm so, so blessed. I want to sound the alarms to everybody that you have to be the CEO of your health. You cannot give that over to anybody. That job is yours. You know your mm -hmm. body. You know what's going on. And I'm just so lucky that I'm going to be able to hold my baby in, yes. in the summer. And that's, well, that's the best blessing of all.